Hello, my name is Joel Black. I've uh, looked after the vinyl section here for some time. I'm flattered to uh, share with you a couple items that have caught my eye. Uh, we have here Chris Spedding, guitar player to so many other uh, groups. This is one of his great solo records. And it's always great to, uh, I think there's something charming about uh, the late 70s, early 80s male earnest power pop purveyor. Another one has probably gotten a little bit more exposure, Steve Harley. Very London, very uh, of his time, going with a lot of the, the, the idea of, of, of the punk bands just being totally savage, but mixing with glam and pop. I think there's a great collision of fantastic uh, British Beatles-influenced pop with a lot of the theater and the goofiness um, and the absurdity of, of a lot of punk bands. So I found two items, and I've actually always had such a, uh, a soft spot in my heart for what is uh, commonly deemed kraut rock. It's these kids, I think, growing out of the shadow of World War II, they had such hunger for organic music, but they're making it with very uh, mechanical means. And I think that's a, that's a very classic kraut German uh, collision of aesthetics, which still informs uh, the country. This uh, Kraftwerk is, this is just a single from an early Kraftwerk record. A lot of people don't know, I think their earlier, a lot of the earlier phases were again made a lot more acoustically. The Left Bank. We'll go back to America. One of my favorite productions, uh, this was a, a late 60s band and you don't see their 45s too often. I think uh, they, were, they, had, they captured something great about the late 60s, a lot of Baroque pop stuff that uh, more difficult to make than you think. This is Helen Steller, A Prayer to Myself. Chicago born, locally uh, bred, Helen Steller and they are uh, essentially the inheritors to the great shoegaze, guitar-centric, uh, proud, gloomy, space rock mantle. This is uh, John Buck Wilkin. And I like I liken this to like a, a more like the poor man's Donovan. I never go in for necessarily 100% uh, genre titles with unbelievably screaming heavy guitars and stuff. I would much prefer a, a weird, uh, awkward pop moment that might have a couple of those loud moments, but has a, a lot of pretty things as well. Falling over things once forgotten. I remember how it was. And uh, I guess this would not be complete with a voyage to uh, one of my favorite areas of the world, uh, the lovely land of England. This is Dukes of the Stratosphere. Everyone knows this was uh, the band XTC, Moonlighting. They never ever uh, copped to this until many years later that this was them. They actually uh, came out as a new band, Dukes of the Stratosphere. And it's a sonic love letter to all their favorite late 60s pop moments. <laughs> Everyone knows I love the Charlatans. I've come to know their singer, Tim. I'm here with Tim Burgess, Charlatans UK, because uh, we're here stateside. Right. I think there's something, uh, there's something so uh, endearing and uh, British in their spirit. They were uh, one of the original baggy bands. They're from Manchester. Their roots are with some of the giants that are now legendary in stature.
I think uh, there's, there's something wonderful about the Stone Roses. I don't know if we've seen another band that had the brashness, the boldness of this band. I think Ian Brown is a fantastic uh, figure. He's a goofball. I, I love something about the spirit of this band. Little project I was involved in, I'm so proud of, Sweaters, uh, features the songwriting of uh, an incredible man, Mr. Jordan Bennett. Untouchable, this is a great uh, pop 45 there. I, I know I ramble on in, in a com completely convoluted way, but I hope uh, some of my excitement for these items uh, is contagious, and I think uh, everyone will, will continue to uh, get excited about everything that we have here. Ah!